Okay, welcome back. This is another video. We're uh, working with magic cards uh, to do some simulations, which is just an example of how you can use scripting and Google spreadsheets to uh, enrich your board game development. In this video, we're going to clean up this code and write some comments and stuff. So uh, this function I initially called read card data. I'm going to actually call it create a deck or prepare deck, prepare deck makes sense uh, or get deck well prepare deck whatever build deck is good um, and let's see here is some some initial well some initial data that might be changed and it's very good collecting this stuff early on in in a in, in the code file or at the start of each function because it makes it easier to find later on. And down here we have uh, get card data from the sheet. Add um, appropriate cards to the deck. To a deck, because the deck is created here. And actually here, we're going to look at if the card is in the deck, uh, then push the card. We're also going to move these into here. We're going to process the cards before we add them to the deck. Makes sense. We're already looping through, through all the cards and now we're checking if they're in the, in the deck, it should be used in the deck, then uh, uh, calculate the card cost and the production. We don't want to do this with all the cards, just the ones we use because this is well, not heavy calculations, but it, it's actually, well, at least some takes some time. Uh, there we are. Okay, so, and then here, down here, oops, we should say return deck. So this function will uh, get the data from, from uh, the spreadsheet, do a lot of stuff, and then spit out the uh, complete deck when it's built. That's nice. This function um, does what it uh, processes a card to um, allow easier access or well, easier reading of its cost. The cost is stored under property cost uh, with sub properties properties for each mana color. Let's do the bridges spelling. Okay, mapping. Let's not comment this. Card corner list. What's happening here? Uh, check how many times each mana cost is present. Add to a new cost. And this is perhaps not obvious what this line does, so I'm going to comment this special, especially. Uh, remove the mana that, uh, what that was just added, so it's not added again. And down here we update the card. This is not returning anything. It's working with this card, and this is actually uh, worth mentioning why, why this works. Whenever you pass an object or an array to a function, uh, you can manipulate it directly. It's, it's called it's ca passed by reference. So this function will work on the variable defined somewhere else or used somewhere else, somewhere else, it created somewhere else. Sometimes you return stuff uh, and uh, 
and then assign it to, to new values. Like down here, we had, yeah, this function, uh, replace function, does not act directly on the string it's working on, but it spits out something new that we have to store in the string, in, in the variable uh, containing the string. Uh, but arrays and objects are not like that. They are passed by reference, I guess, because they're so heavy. So by default, they're passed by reference. In JavaScript, it's different in, in, uh, for, for other languages, programming languages. OK, so we don't need to return anything here. We're just changing the card that's being passed to this function. Down here, uh, set the uh, production, the mana production of the card in the property. color is represented by uh, its own sub property. Nice. We are only checking for the basic lab types. We could have, well, a super land. Just an example. If we want to ex expand this later on, super land that creates one green and one red, this would actually work because it would, when it encounters a super land down here, uh, here, it will add green and red to to the land. Uh, oops, and then later on it would add zero white, zero blue, and zero black. But we're not doing that. It would be difficult to uh, to manage the hybrid land types, which can create, say, white or blue. But we're not doing that. Okay. Look for the defined land types. Add its oh, set its production. And here. Uh, set the uh, rest of production colors to zero. There we are, commenting uh, the uh, code. Commenting is important. See you now in another video. Bye.